So hello everyone. Uh, thank you for having us here today. Uh, my name is Qin Chang from Auburn University, and today we're gonna present a system detecting runway driving incidents based on the applications of deep, deep learning techniques. So first of all, I want to introduce my team members, Jia Xiangren, Yu uh, Kun Song, and Bei Jia Zhang. And thanks for our professors, Fa Guozhou, giving us the opportunity to conduct this kind of research. And I also want to thank all the organizers making effort to conduct such a virtual meeting during this special period. Today, first we need to describe our problems, and then we will talk about the proposed solution and the applications we have conducted based on our solution. So finally, we will talk about the cost breakdown and expected benefits. Next, I will pass to Beijia to in introduce the background. Thank you, Qin. For our study background, currently we are working on the LDAP and MCHRP runway driving projects. Our research group found runway driving crashes are rare, but most of them are head-on fatal crash, which are very severe compared with other crashes. From the left figure, we can see runway driving fatalities are keep rising even though the overall fatal crashes are decreasing. The map on your right side shows many states have free wave runway driving fatalities more than 2% in 2004 to 2013. This table shows the fatal crash cost is around 9.6 million per person in 2016. So only for runway driving fatal crash, the cost will be up to 3.4 billion in a year. Runway driving initial entry point is very hard to get from the crash records because most of the runway drivers pass away immediately with no information left. So engineers that suffered from get the runway driving entry information. And also very few researchers study the incident, runway driving incident data. Currently, most commonly used solutions that are very expensive IPS, such as the thermal camera, radar LED detection, and warning system, load detector. The cost, along with the maintenance fee, can be up to a million dollars. So our group trying to develop a very low-cost tool to automatically exact runway incidents from video or CCTV, collect the freeway incident data. Also, there are many exit ramps on freeway, which ramps are high-risk runway driving locations, which ramps worth installing the expensive warning system you may don't know. But our product can help you analyze the runway incidents and select the hotspots with very low cost. So uh, based on the background described by Beijia, our uh, proposed solution is to develop a valid and adoptive system which can use existing CCTV cameras or recorded videos as an input to conduct runway entry detection. So all you need to do is to feed the videos into our systems and the system will automatically detect whether the runway driving exists. Before we find, feed the videos into our systems, we don't have to know what kind of runway driving incidents going to happen because you can never imagine what kind of mistakes those drivers going to make. The system will output, output all the strange trajectories automatically. Finally, the timestamps for each detected runway driving will be output for users' verification. Next, Jia Xiang will briefly introduce what happened in our black box. So first, we split the videos and into multiple frames, x y please. And then we we'll conduct the YOLO3, which is the uh, object detection algorithm and to extract the coordinates of the each vehicle in each frame, next slide. And then we apply the sort algorithm and to extract the trajectories of each vehicle, and then we cluster them into several groups. And for each group, then we can generate a representative trajectory, just like, uh, uh, like the lines shown in the picture and marked by different colors. And next slide. And after that, for each cluster, we can, based on the distributions of distance, we can calculate an acceptable range for, the, for future use to, to determine the behavior of the driving. Next slide. And to make it easy, we extract the one representative trajectory and the one uh, coming trajectory. And you can see in the picture, the red line is not in the acceptable range of the black line. So the red line is considered as abnormal driving behavior. 
Next slide. Because abnormal driving doesn't mean that wrongly driving, so we still need one more step. So we draw a fence that uh, if the uh, coming trajectory uh, intersects with with that orange line, so the system will finally confirm that this trajectory is uh, wrongly driving. Next, I will briefly talk about the application of our system. So our proposed system has been applied to an ongoing NCHRP project for runway incident data collection. Till now, our runway driving detection algorithm already helped us to monitor 61 interchange terminals, which is located in nine different states. More than 2,000 hours of video were analyzed. It helped us to find out more than 100 runway driving incidents. The video shown here are runway driving incidents found by our system. So we can see that this uh, this vehicle entered the exit ramp by mistake, which is very dangerous and could be resulting uh, with a severe crash. As for the performance of our system, we conducting our test based on the computer, which equipped with a 1040p GPU and 3.6 GHz CPU. The speed of our algorithm could achieve 60 frames per second. This speed is equal to six people watching videos together. For a 30 minutes long video, we only need five minutes to finish uh, all the detection. Based on five, uh, 357 hours testing video, we found that, that uh, the accuracy of our uh, system can achieve 80% which including 20% of false alarm. This result is better compared with other kinds of uh, existing detection system, since our system can be only triggered by the vehicle instead of uh, the other kinds of uh, environmental facts. So next, I will talk about the cost breakdown uh, and benefits for our project. So we can see the table shown here shows the cost breakdown for our whole systems, uh, which including the cameras, computer, and other accessories. And we can see for uh, for each of our system will cost about $3,000. And the cost didn't actually include the labor fees for installations. Comparing with other runway driving programs conducted by other states, which usually cost more than 10000 for each ramp's terminals for each mile or for each mile. Actually, we don't have to build permanent runway driving detection systems at these locations. We just need to make sure there won't be any runway driving. Our runway driving detection systems are using the existing CCTV cameras or portable traffic cameras to conduct the detection, which can serve more locations with a very low cost. By using our systems, we can uh, spend less money and find more high-risk locations. As Beijia earlier mentioned, we used to find the problems after a runway driving crash happened which are very passive. If we can find more locations with recurring runway entries, we can conduct early treatments by uh, using the low-cost countermeasures to eliminate the risk for runway driving happening. So for example, the figure shown here is showing the locations we found we had recurring runway, runway entries. By implementing the quick curves, we make the runway entry impossible. So if we don't have any more runway entries, we don't have to worry about the runway driving crashes. So finally, Beijia will talk about the functional architectures for our system. So our function architecture has three parts, technology, application, and business. When the technology supports a YOLO computer and camera, we can identify the runway incidents. It also can count cars and do other type traffic conflict studies. Then the DOT consultants, research institute, many other agencies will benefit from our product. Next is a brief SWOT analysis of our runway incident de detection product. Our product strengths are very low cost, high accuracy, low force alarm rate, very easy to install, environmentally friendly with solo panel. We, but we still need to improve the nighttime video quality. The opportunities are very flexible and can be used to identify other type of conflicts. It can also be applied in other facility types such as divided highways. The threat can be the 
camera security and the future product promotion. Okay, uh, that's all for our presentation and thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.